always say, when it's a beautiful day, you gotta paint some mountains, some trees. Oh, who do we have here? It's a wonderful day in the neighborhood, and you know what that means. It's a good day for painting. We're gonna have our tools, of course, like every day. Some champagne. And then we're gonna have our two trusty brushes. Martha and Louise. Let's begin. What do you, what do you feel like painting today? As I always say, when it's a beautiful day, you gotta paint some mountains, some trees. Shall we begin? First, that's it. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. My, that's good. The colors today, as you see, for mountains and trees some coarse and blue, some phthalo blue, some petunia yellow, some light blue. I don't remember if it's burnt sienna or burnt umber, but it's one of those. And there's some other shades in here, you know? So, oh, one more thing. You gotta have your turpentine. Basically, um, having the background, the backdrop, just a beautiful sky. Maybe add a little, a little warmth into it in a little bit. We're gonna bring that sun in, and we added a lake. It's gonna be beautiful. I call it the Crystal Lake. You know, you can use whatever you want. Things on it, and that shit's faded. Makes it look good with my spraying. It's an AK with a paintbrush. I'm saying I got money from painting. 40 blunts and women. 
staining. Now that our background is finished, what we're gonna do is add our faux brown. Before we could do that, people, it's middle time. Oh, which reminds me, for inspiration, I always like to pull out the good old. You know the name. Like for inspiration. Let's... Oh yeah. Okay, and now uh, we're finished with the mountains. Now, you see what I did here? Two on the left. Five, three, four. I'm fading away to the right, you right there. Oh, and if you want to add on to the price, really, this is my secret. That is a big one, this is for the fans. Oh, give me two hands for this one. So what you do, you just add a little scratches like this. And that adds like, at least two hours to your painting. It's the little details, people. That's how you make it, that's how you get rich in the painting world. Again, the fella in the back. That's me, you know. It's most artists are, you know how it is. I stay in the back more secluded. We're watching. She likes to just stay there, you know. She's just a good friend. Just, just like you and me. So when you're making this stream, This is how you add some more press on to it. Put some meaning to it, like it's falling on to, into eternity. Well, no shit, you know, I just ran out of room, but <laughs> as price to me, trust me, people. People think it's some like, blah, 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 you know. Living life, whatever. I'm trying to get paid here. What we got here was just some foliage, some grass, some leaves, some branches. Um, Nice little creek, you know, a little waterfall, rocks come, water come down from the rocks, and it just goes into nothingness, you yeah? know? Here's the focal point, and everything else fades out. And that's what makes it a good composition. A nice visible color, and let's sign it. Oops. Well, to finish up, I'm Bob Ross my squirrel PD and bye bye as I always say when it's a beautiful day you gotta paint some mountains some trees